Welcome to day 1,329 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Hornell. So I'm here documenting the journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. The good, the bad, the ugly, lessons learned, roads to go down, roads to absolutely skip, uh, how to do things so that you can shortcut your process as you transition onto the internet or as you grow and supersize and build your businesses on the internet. So today I did two pieces of content. One was our annual challenge to do one thing every day that centers us to get to know ourselves better throughout the year of 2021. Uh, 2020, I don't know about you, but it was definitely a discombobulating year for millions and millions of people. And so I, I didn't leave the year unscathed. I mean, things changed. I think the year was awesome for me. I had a lot of things that I benefited in 2020 that I never would have anticipated. But I thought 2020 was going to be this great year of vision and growth and awakening for people. And instead, it was a manipulated year of control and shutdowns and, and propaganda and nonsense that set us all decades behind our own uh, progress in a lot of ways. So uh, this year, beginning of the year, I was still feeling that way. In, even you know, the middle of last year, of course, when I picked out this journal and this book and this idea for the annual challenge in 2021, but even at the beginning of the year, I was just like, what the heck? I thought 2021 we'd roll into it and we'd be better, and it's actually proven to be as bad, if not worse, for millions of people in 2021 than 2020 even was. So I'm really glad that we're doing this centering challenge just to get to know ourselves and understand ourselves better, realizing that we have the personal power to decide how we're going to react and respond to all of this craziness and all of this chaos and all of this nonsense, and that we can still move toward what it is that we want, create our goals and objectives and dreams in spite of what's going on in the rest of the world. The rest of the world can go crazy and be all discombobulated and upset and freaking out and rioting and protesting and doing all the other nonsense they want to do. And we can still be moving forward in our lives to create the lives we want for ourselves and those we love and care about. Some people need to maintain their sanity to make the world a better place because there's plenty of people that will choose to go the other way. And there's got to be a balance in it. Uh, I say goodwill out. People have got to remember that we think for ourselves and that we are not what the media and certain politicians portray us to be. We certainly are not that. So today our idiom was, not our idiom, our, our sayings day and our action from Do One Thing Every Day That Centers Us was all about how we see ourselves. And it was from Anwar Sadat and he said, I was brought up to believe that how I see myself was more important than how others saw me. This is so important because so many people and I used to be a lot this way. I, I like to remind myself to not be this way. Nowadays, it doesn't matter what other people think of me. It matters most what I think of myself. And sometimes it matters what other people think of us, right? But like we want our customers to think of us in a positive way so that they'll continue to do business with us. But a lot of people that we think we should care what they think, it's absolutely essential that we don't care what we, they think of us, right? It doesn't matter with respect to building your business, what your family members think of you. Boy, that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people, but it really doesn't matter. If they're not going to be your customers ever, they don't matter. Their thoughts, their beliefs, their ideas about your business don't matter. And if they've never run a successful business, you certainly don't want to be listening to them and taking advice from them because they have no idea what they're doing. I love when I get negative feedback and, and like what people would call hater messages. Because early on, and I don't bother doing it anymore, but early on when I would get those, I would go and I would, I would research and I'd look at the person's profile and try to find something out about them. And inevitably I would find out that what they were criticizing me for was something that they weren't doing, that they'd never in their life done. <clears throat> and I learned pretty early on that we take feedback from people that are ahead of us in the journey that we're wanting to take, or we take feedback from people that are giving that feedback with, with love and with our best interests in mind, but everybody else, yep, they get their opinion. They can hate us, they can love us, they can have their opinion, and it doesn't matter at all. It's who we're here to serve, the impact we're here to make, who we want to be, who we, how we want to impact the world, that's important. And everybody else gets to decide that same thing for themselves. We don't have to fall into the trap of letting other people define us. And it's actually a lot more fun when we live our own life than when we're trying to meet everybody else's expectations and, and desires and whims and wills for us. So I thought that was a great 
saying for today and uh, I think it's a great thing to remember every day or whenever it comes up that it's important how we see ourselves it's important that we believe in ourselves it's important that we uh, are self-aware and and understand the impact that we have on other people and on the world but how we see ourselves is the most important thing and that doesn't come from ego or uh, thinking that we're better than other people it comes from really being who we want to be and continually improving and becoming who it is that we want to be on the planet through this little life journey that we're all having. So for Supersize Your Business, our idiom, our expression today was let your imagination run riot. And I actually prefer the version let your imagination run wild over riot, given what's happened in at least the United States over the last year and a half. Uh, last summer, not this past one, but the, a year ago last summer, uh, a year ago summer was absolutely pathetic, embarrassing, and ridiculous in the United States of America in many big cities and especially in my, uh, I live in a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and, and it, I, I don't even talk about it because I don't have the words to describe the heartache and the damage that was caused in, in just, you know, Minneapolis and St. Paul and in Minnesota, and it was not because of events that happened. It was because of the media and the politicization or politicizing of an event that was used as an excuse to wreck havoc. Millions of businesses were destroyed and went out of business. And you know, you hear people on social media, well, they have insurance for that. No, it obviously you have no idea what you're talking about and you've never owned a business or done anything in your life that you're spouting your mouth off about because they don't have insurance for that. Riots are not covered by insurance. Now, there's probably a whole bunch of insurance companies around the country selling riot insurance as an add-on, so, so hundreds and, and millions of different businesses are now buying riot insurance, even though it probably won't ever cover or pay out or do the things they needed to do to protect their business. But the vast majority of those businesses were not covered by insurance, and they destroyed the neighborhoods where the people that need those businesses exist and so uh, all the lies that were told about that it, it just frustrates me to no end and so what do we do we focus on the things that we can do we focus on moving toward our goals and objectives we focus on making the world a better place because that's what we're really all here for becoming the best version of ourselves experiencing this life as only we uniquely can I can only experience my life you can only experience your life that's our purpose that's what we're here for and to make the world a better place. I'm sorry, we're not here to make the world a worse place. We're not here to just scratch and claw and get what we can get for ourselves during this lifetime. Because guess what? This lifetime is just a little blip in who we really are. Just my belief, but uh, I transgress. Now we are still removing trees and uh, cleaning up in our neighborhood. We had a, they said straight line winds, probably like 100 mile an hour straight line winds go through our small town Friday morning, very early, about 4 a.m., 3.30, 4 a.m., and, you know, lightning struck a tree in our front yard, took out a couple of trees, and uprooted a pine tree, and so we're cleaning up all of that still, as are most of our neighbors, and uh, the, the whole downtown areas, the lakefront park is pretty cleaned up already, but 100-year-old trees just uprooted in this, this storm. The roof of the band shell, not the band shell, the roof of our beach house, down, we live right on, there's a river, and right on the riverfront, there's a beach house, and the roof, the entire roof of the beach house was picked up and thrown two blocks away into the glass and the whole front of the library. Broke the windows, actually bent the railing around a, a balcony type area, took all the letters off, impaled this roof into the windows and the siding of the library. It's really incredible, but uh, like the force of nature, I guess nature gives us all a wake up call every once in a while and says, huh? Stop what you're doing. Time to clean up your yard. Time to clean up this. Time to clean up that. And nothing we had planned on doing, but it's just like when we get sick, if we have a, a health scare or a diagnosis, it stops everything else. It freezes time, and we just have to deal with that one area or aspect of our life. So curious what you're working on today. Curious if there's anything I can help you with. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, go out, have an absolutely awesome day, and I'll pop in tomorrow and just let you know what I'm doing as I build and grow my online presence back and forth a little bit this year, but um, we can talk about that another day. Any questions, please ask either about the offline or the online world. I've been involved in 27 
offline different businesses and industries. Haven't even counted online because there's been so many. I guess I should sit down maybe one of these days when I get a minute and count up how many different businesses and things I've been involved in, in online. It's been a lot. All right. Have a great day. If I can help you anyway, ask otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.